it's done! Yesterday our second prototype of the Harrier does its maiden and it was absolutely wonderful. I loved it and this plane really 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 performs super nice. With the first prototype there had been some difficulties aerodynamically because the fuselage was very short and also the vertical and horizontal stabilizer were a little bit small for the big wing. So it uh, was wobbling and a little bit instable and it often stalls while flying some turns. But this one we made the fuselage 10% bigger and also we upsized the vertical and horizontal step and this fits really perfectly. It uh, feels super nice. It has so much power, the sound is even so great and I'm really really happy with this one. First I want to show you how this was built and then let's talk about the next steps. So let's go!
Ah, ich werde auch die Böen sein. Aber hat Power. Und du teilst den Opel macht das vorne. Oh, Alter. Aber ich bin halt mit voller Stimmung vorne. Und der geht immer noch hoch. Dann ist der Ruder ist mehr als genug, da können wir reduzieren. Guckt auch schön. Ich komme mal zur Landung. Gucken wir das mal an. performance of this area is super nice it uh, weights about 2.4 kilogram for the retail version we think about 2.9 kilogram yes and now we are waiting for these special high-tech servos to make the nozzle rotatable and then it can go on with the really interesting part to start turning the nozzles in flight first to 15 degree 30 35 and then to go step by step till about um, 60 I would say because this one doesn't have any stabilization EDFs no stabilization nozzles we just want to see what is possible just with our main nozzles how slow can it fly is it possible to stabilize it just with the deflection surfaces because we 
also want to build one version for short takeoff and landing. This is cause of our rough grass service. At the moment we land on the skids, but we, will, we also want to integrate a landing gear. And for this, the landing speed has to be as slow as possible, that there is no big force on the landing gear. And beside this, a lot of CAD work has to be done on this prototype anyway. A lot of small changes that everything fits, all the hedges and a lot of small things. So um, I would say it would take again about um, three weeks, I would say, for bringing this in, a, in the final design. Then it has to be printed here to check everything and then we will release it on RC Jet Print like we does it with the SUX uh, already. So that's, that's for this video. I hope you enjoyed this and if you want to support this channel and our products, uh, you find the link underneath. You can buy me a coffee, donate on PayPal or become my Patreon with a lot of behind the scenes photos and informations. And I would say I wish you a perfect week and we see us in the next video. Bye bye.